Hello everyone, this is Riku Keyblade Master, and yeah. Um, New Mexico just got a huge win. I forget her name, but she was elected to, um, well, replace the person who left the Senate to become one of President Biden's chief secretaries. Um, I forget her name, but it's a huge win for the Democratic Party. Because literally this, this was a part of her speech. This is a huge win for not only New Mexico, but also for the United States of America. Because not only did we just deliver for the people of New Mexico, but we also delivered for the people of the United States of America. The next thing that I have to report to you guys is sports etiquette. Look, I understand we all get excited and whatever, but don't do anything like these people did. One person chucked a water bottle at an NBA player, and jeez. Someone definitely needs to set an example, because this is ridiculous. I know we all have been on edge and all have been on lockdown for ages, but that's no reason to do anything like that. It's not that player's fault. And then another attack happened on a football player. Like, you gotta be kidding me. What the fudge? Guys, seriously. Like I said, someone needs to set an example. This is ridiculous. I know it seems like I'm... Like, sounding irritated or whatever, but... This is not the first time... That... Um... I've heard of any incidences like this. Because I went to a game with a former boyfriend of mine, and literally, this guy caught a baseball just so he could chuck it at another player. I'm not kidding. It's ridiculous. Thankfully, there were no reports of disorderly conduct at the game that I sang the national anthem for when I was just 17. I still can't believe it. They picked me out of... Usually they pick someone famous, and I, I was stunned. I was stunned. And during that time... Um... While I was singing, here's the even more stunning part. The... The weather started changing. First it was nice, and then it was... Getting rainy and windy. And as the rain and the wind... Was blowing in my face, I just kept going. And a lot of the players were like, How does she do that? Jeez. It's like she's transported herself into a whole other world or something. Man, I could not sing like that. Hell, I can't even carry a tune at all. And because of my spectacular performance, I got a picture with one of the teams. That was before the Lumber King Stadium got owned by Ashford University well, excuse me, the former Ashford University, because they got shut down. So I don't know what that name, what that Ball Diamond's name is now. 
Jeez. Wonder how much money it would cost to take that logo out. Instead of... And that's another thing. Instead of standing on the pitcher's mound like I was usually, you know, supposed to, they had me stand right on the logo instead. Probably because the pitcher's mound was a really huge hill, and I can't balance for shit, which is a good thing that they made me just... They had me just stand on the logo. Um... I didn't stay for the game, though, because I couldn't see to tell what was going to happen, like, who was going to win or lose, because it got so bad. I thought they would do something smart and postpone the game, but no, they still played, and to this day, I don't know who won. Um, but yeah, the, the disorderly conduct happened the game before that. Luckily, there were no disorderly conducts at that game that I was at when I was chosen to sing the national anthem. So I attended two games that year. Like I said, I know that we've all been on edge and we've all been on lockdown. But this is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie, it's ridiculous. And another thing. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make my own separate video for this one. Until next time, I've been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Wielder and stay awesome as usual. Peace and I love you all.